This is a square pyramid with slant height 25 and surface area 600. Let's find the volume of the pyramid and the formula for the volume is 1 by 3 times base area times height. Now let's see how to find the base area. Let's consider the side length of the base is A. Since base is a square, the base area is A square and the perimeter of the base is 4 times A. Now let's see how to find the height of the pyramid. A right angle triangle is formed by the slant height L and half of the base length and height of the pyramid. So let's use the Pythagoras theorem to find the height of the pyramid. We know the value of slant height L and we need to find the base length A. Let's derive the value of base length using the given surface area. The formula for the surface area is lateral surface area plus base area and we know that base area is A square. The lateral surface area, the formula is 1 by 2 times perimeter of the base times slant height and let's substitute 4a for the perimeter and slant height 25 and the lateral surface area is 50a. Let's substitute the lateral surface area and base area into the formula for surface area and rearrange it as a quadratic equation and solve for a. Since A is a base length, it cannot be negative, so A equal to minus 60 is not a valid value. So base length of this pyramid is 10. To find the volume of the pyramid, we need to find the height of the pyramid. In the Pythagoras theorem, substitute the value of the slant height L and base length A and solve for height. Now let's substitute the base area and height into the formula for the volume. And the volume of the pyramid is 816.497.